All right, we're back for another COD video. I asked yesterday, you know, if you guys wanted to see it, I can do another video on the Prospector or AKA the lever action here. Yesterday, I made like a whole video on the PTRS and talked about its history and everything. But this lever action, as far as Call of Duty goes, I mean, don't have anything that's really notable named lever action. I mean, there may have been one in like earlier CODs and shit like that, or maybe even other ones, but I don't fucking know. I'm sure there have been other guns in COD that are actually lever action, but this one's just straight up named lever action. It's a snipe rifle. It is arguably, I would say, probably the fastest with a uh, rapid fire fire on to shoot. I know that yeah. the moment. Oh, fuck. People are still confused whenever they get sniped on this game. People think it's like impossible or some shit. I just realized how big this shirt is. I don't fucking care. This thing is fast, and uh, you can be consistent with it as long as you shoot upper chest, I would say. Uh, stomach shots are kind of iffy. Oh, I thought he died. I thought somehow he, like, fell onto the ground. Statistically, I'm not entirely sure if this is the fastest firing bolt action sniper that we have on the game. Initially, it was definitely the Car 98 with its scope speed and everything, but this gun, I mean, I don't know about scope speed, I'm not sure about bolt speed, but this gun just in general feels very, very fast, and you have to be accurate with it. But when you're accurate with it, it's almost unrivaled. Not in terms of power, but in terms of speed and accuracy, this thing, you can fit the shots in. I don't know what it is about it, but you can just fit shots in that you wouldn't usually be able to fit even just by fractions of a second this gun is just able to i don't know it's just able to fire when you feel like it shouldn't be able to fire yet but it just it does shoot that fast now obviously no i am using rapid fire but even before i got the rapid fire attachment i would say that this definitely already shoots faster than a springfield I'm sure somebody can go and do some statistics and shit like that and compare the ads speeds and the bolt speed and all that shit with them without rapid fire with it compared to you know the lee enfield or the car 98 or the arasaka there's something about this gun that just makes it feel really light Wait, feels like the sniper rifle that you should be using with airborne if you ever run airborne if there's ever a situation where you run airborne it just feels like this and airborne would just be so good together whereas the ptrs looks like something that would be paired with armored or something you know the gun just looks really lightweight and just it's nice it's sleek and i don't really know what to compare it to it does shoot real fast though as far as my favorite between the two new sniper rifles that have come out the ptrs versus this obviously most people are going to be going with the ptrs just because of its consistency and the fact that it it's the PTRS. It feels strong, looks insane, sounds really good. Whereas this one, it's a bolt action rifle. It's really fast, really nice feeling when you start going on streaks with it, but you gotta worry about the hit markers. But another huge thing about this gun that a lot of people don't mention, with not just its speed, but you may actually be able to turn up your sensitivity while using this gun because it does have aim assist. I don't know if the PTRS has aim assist. It really doesn't feel like it does. But the lever action most definitely has aim assist on it. I can already see people complaining about it now, having aim assist and stuff. The people that complained about snipers, you know, with the aim assist and all that stuff and then they took them out they still end up dying the snipers and shit and then you know it's one complaint after another the complaints are never really gonna stop just because of the nature of the sniper rifles that's just kind of how they are they're really annoying and abrupt to die by and it's always going to be something to complain about just because it's just really fucking annoying same reason why i raged about shotguns and everything it was just such an abrupt ending where it just doesn't feel like you have a chance to actually affect the outcome I think it has six or seven shots in total and then when you put extended mags on it it has nine shots another thing that's different about this sniper rifle compared to the other ones as well is that it reloads bullet by bullet just like the m40 of the r700 in cod 4 so you're able to stop your reloads but still able to have you know some shots in there so you're able to reload but it's not an entire clip so you're never completely out of ammo if you ever need to shoot quickly you can just pop one bullet in and take the shot Like you can just take a shot at somebody, reload it, pop it in, reload it, pop it in. Whereas before, you would have to sit around and wait for a whole reload animation. Now, when you do expend all of your ammo, it takes a long time to reload, even whenever you're using, you know, uh, hustle and stuff. That's what I'm using right now. So when I do expend all the ammo, you know, you can just reload it real quick like that. Now, years ago, everybody was able to play on the maximum sensitivity as snipers because we had aim assist. So even if our sensitivity was absurdly high, whenever we dragged over people, it would slow down a little bit. And it was enough of an indication for us to, you know, to go and take the shot. And as of like shit, three years ago at this point, I would say. Sniper rifles haven't been, you know, getting any aim assist and shit. So we all had to turn our sensitivities down so we could take our time with our shots because, you know, it's not going to be able to help us. And it's not that we're completely dependent on it. I mean, very obviously, it's still quick scoping and everything. It's just that we definitely had to turn down our sensitivity. So with this one, it kind of goes back to the old style of sniping where you do get the aim assist. Although the aim assist, you know, isn't as strong as the old CODs, it's definitely a noticeable amount. <laughs> 
on the aircraft. A lot of people are asking why I don't have chrome on the sniper rifle. It's just because I haven't unlocked it. Every single new weapon that comes out, I have to do the camo challenges over again, and then it will automatically unlock chrome once I finish all of them for that. I was just super excited to make these kinds of videos on these two guns specifically, just because the last sniper rifle we got was the Arasaka, and it was really good. So a lot of us as snipers were sitting around like, how are they even going to top this? And on top of that, it's just nice to have, you know, new weapons that you can use. You know, you can have a day where you just spend the whole day using a Springfield, a whole day with the car, a whole day with the Arasaka. Now you can spend a whole day with all of those, plus the lever action just us as snipers we love having our bolt action this thing is super nice as long as you can get a consistent shot going you can hit him in the upper chest if you basically got used to using the Lee Enfield at all or maybe even the car 98 after it's nerfed I think you'd just be able to destroy shit with this gun I love the feeling of this gun I would have been actually okay with this gun being in place of another sniper rifle at launch it feels like it could have been a main sniper rifle that's how nice it is I love it I know a lot of people will say it's a hit marker machine but this is coming from the guy that said that the Lee Enfield is a good sniper rifle I still stand by that it's a good gun slow scope and everything like that the slow scope and the aim assist that you have on that is yet again another sniper rifle where you'll be able to turn up your sensitivity and stuff and be able to play kind of like the old school style basically crackhead play style i know a big update came out for fortnite today as well so for all of you that were waiting around for a fortnite video i'm sorry i'll get on that though so yeah go and check out this lever action it's a uh, really fast really nice feeling the aim assist is also a nice little feature to it some people may like it some people may not that may be the main thing that decides whether or not you use it or not uh, also hit markers and stuff like that if you don't want to worry about it obviously you have old reliable you got the springfield that's still my favorite gun on this game as far as sniper rifles go but again thank you for all the support on yesterday's video it means a lot whenever you know i get a good amount of support whenever i upload call of duty and stuff especially with the whole world taken over by fortnite and shit so i really appreciate it anyway yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video the most recent videos are popping up on the screen here leave a like if you guys enjoyed and uh yeah it's been jeff guys later Put the MIP in my